Breaking the Wall of Single Neuroscience, Enrico Patrono, Falling Walls Lab, Wrocław. Good morning, everybody. Um, to tackle a problem in neuroscience uh, is essential to work on uh, the space-time resolution. For instance, among the several actors playing in the bipolar disorder drama, we ask ourselves, what is the main uh, neurotransmission character and when it plays the central monologue? Unfortunately, though, the um, techniques and the methods that we used uh, until now uh, keep us far from knowing uh, the exact what, how, and when. Uh, and uh, this keeping us far uh, with an excessive level of ab abstraction. Uh, recently, uh, actually for, from the beginning, neuroscience has been relying on uh, biology, chemistry, and more recently on uh, computer programming and robotics. And it's becoming on and on uh, increasingly less likely that one single individual or a laboratory will uh, have all the expertise to tackle higher level problems. Uh, therefore, it will be uh, essential to uh, build future labs, teams, including uh, uh, different scientific uh, professionals, such as mathematicians, physicists, uh, in order to produce new transdisciplinary uh, solutions to in neuroscience. Uh, my colleague from uh, the University of Hamburg and I uh, propose here a, a new uh, device called uh, uh, Brain on a Chip, which comes from the microfluidic uh, uh, chips, which is uh, uh, coupled with optogenetic uh, methods, which is the ability to control the neurotransmission with the help of the light. In this case, uh, uh, we are able to uh, perform uh, methodical investigations upon single specific actors, modeling brain areas in single plastic chips and controlling them with the optogenetics. We are able to, def uh, to f consider the space-time uh, specificity. So, and last but not least, uh, we are able to accomplish with the reductionist approach of the three R's, reduction, refinement, replacement, which is already mandated in the European directives. <coughs> Thank you very much.